Our first speaker of the day is Natalia da Silva, who will talk about numbers that can be written as a difference of harmonic numbers. Okay, hi everyone. Again, my name is Natalia da Silva. Thank you for being here. Um, our research is actually um, joint work with Hector Salgado and Saban Leonio, and it was supported by a Pump undergraduate grant and an NSF grant. Um, so, our research started with this lecture we viewed by Dr. Hendrik Lundstra, and he talked about harmonic numbers. And um, the definition of a harmonic number came from Felipe de Ventry, and he defined it as a number that can be written as a power of 2 times a power of 3. And so, here are a few examples um, 6, 8, 9, and 18 are all harmonic numbers because um, here, as you can see, they can be written as a power of 2 times a power of 3. Um, and here is just a chart of all the harmonic numbers less than a thousand. Um, at the top are all the powers of three, on the side are all of the powers of two. And then so Vitri, he found these four consecutive pairs of harmonic numbers. And one, two, two, three, three, four, eight, nine. And these are actually ratios that correspond with music. So we made this diddly bow, we call it. And this is a yardstick, and it's actually, we have our ratios on here, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 8, 9. So we put this, I'm going to put it on the ratio of 1 to 2. And then if I strum this guitar string, it's actually like one octave higher. And so if you go to 2, 3, 3, 4, the ratios are as follows. Perfect fifth, perfect fourth, and major second. So he, Vitri didn't know that these were the only four pairs of harmonic numbers, but Gersonides, um confirmed that they were, um, and uh, we actually have a proof of this in our paper that he um, proved that these were the only four pairs of consecutive harmonic numbers. So then we just started looking at numbers 1 through 100 um, and said, you know, what about, can all of these numbers be written as a difference of harmonic numbers um, besides just one? So just some examples, you know, of course we already knew one, and then we went on two, three, four, and so on, and we went all the way up to 100. And um, here we used this, this was, um, so as we got up to higher numbers like 80, 90, and such, like it just became super tedious to find just a combination of difference of harmonic numbers. So this just helped us um, with Java program in Java. And then so we found that there are 11 numbers less than 100 that cannot be written as a difference of harmonic numbers. So 97 is actually the largest of these numbers. And so when you think of a difference of harmonic numbers, you think of a power of 2 times a power of 3 minus a power of 2 times a power of 3. But that's actually not the case because most these numbers are not divisible by 2 and 3. So you either have to have a power of 3 minus a power of 2 or a power of 2 minus a power of 3. So in this case, this case one, we have a power of three minus the power of two. And so we wanted to see if 97 can be written as a difference of harmonic numbers. So we wrote three as two plus one. We did binomial expansion. And then here, the one we subtracted. And then we divided everything by two. And then so here, since all of the terms have a factor of two, then we know that m must be even. It also must have a factor. So now we say that m is even, we then write um, m as 2k, and we get 8 plus 1 to the k equals 2 to the n plus 97. So we do binomial expansion again, and we get this lone k again, but we also can see that there is another factor of 2 in each of these terms. So we can also say that k is even. Then we write k as 2l. And then so we notice that um, 3 to the m ends in 1 and 2 to the n ends in 4, so then we know that n is even. So then again we do binomial expansion. Um, and then here we get that each of these have a factor of 3 in them, which implies that 98 also has a factor of 3, but 3 does not divide 98. So we know that this case was false. So then we go to case 2, where the power of 2 is larger than the power of 3. Then again, we break up the 3 into 2 plus 1. We do binomial expansion. 
And here, for the same reasons, we have a factor of 2 in each of these terms. But we have this odd term here, so m must be odd for both sides to be even. And then, working with m is odd, we write um, 3 as 4 minus 1. And again, we do binomial expansion. But then here, we have an even term. And so m must be even, but we just said that m was odd, so we have a contradiction. So therefore, we prove that 97 cannot be written as a difference of harmonic numbers. Um, so then, you know, we found these non-difference of harmonic numbers, but then we noticed percent primes can be written as a difference of harmonic numbers. And um, so a percent prime is a prime in the form of 2 to the p minus 1. And it um, and we looked at p, p must be prime, because if it was a composite number, we could write it as 2 to the a, b, and 2 to the a, b minus 1 is divisible by both 2 to the a and 2 to the b minus 1. Um, so here are some examples of Mersenne primes, 3, 7, and 31. So here are just some, like, fun facts about Mersenne primes. Um, this is actually we proved um, in our paper that when p is greater than or equal to 5, then we can, the only way we can write it as a difference of harmonic numbers um, is in this form. And so there are actually only 49 known Mersenne primes. And in 1998, a uh, Dominguez Hill student actually found the 37th Mersenne prime. And it had over 909,000 digits. And currently, the largest known Mersenne prime has over 22 million digits. Um, so then we, uh, at the end of Hendrik, Dr. Hendrik Lundstrom's lecture, um, he just briefly mentioned the ABC conjecture. So then we looked at the ABC conjecture more, which um, this is the definition. If we have the true equation A plus B equals C, where A, B, and C are relatively prime, then C is usually not much larger than the radical of ABC, the product of ABC. And we define the radical um, of an integer by the product of its prime factor. So here's just an example of the radical of 28. So we can we prime get its prime factors, 2 squared times 7. We just multiply the prime factors, and we get 14. And so we related the ABC conjecture with um, harmonic numbers. So the ABC conjecture is true on the set of harmonic numbers and joined with Mersenne primes. <coughs> And yeah, and that's it.